In this video, we're going to be learning about the tools, and the tools are what you use to edit the events that appear in the project window's event display. The toolbar is located at the top of the project window, and you can see that there are a whole bunch of different icons in the toolbar. Each icon gives you an idea of what tool you're looking at, and when you have a tool selected, that tool appears as the icon in the event display. So we're going to talk about what each one of these are in a moment, but there are about three different ways to get to the tools. The first way is to come up to the toolbar and to click on the desired tool, or you can also come down to the event display window and right click, and when you do, you'll see an exact same copy of the toolbar, and scrolling across the list, you can just choose whatever tool you want to use. But my favorite method Method is to use the shortcuts. And as you can see, there are 12 different tools, but you can get to nine of the most commonly used tools with the following keyboard shortcuts, and they're very easy to find. If you look at the top of your Macintosh keyboard, on the left-hand side, you'll see the number one button. I'm not talking about the numeric keypad number one, which is what we learned controls the position of the left locator. Instead, these are the numbers one through nine across the top top row of your computer keyboard. So the default tool is the object select tool, which is what I have the pointer hovering over right now, and that's what you use to individually select events in the event display. And it is the default tool. It's what Cubase has as its default tool when you launch a project or when you open Cubase for the first time. And you can get to it simply by typing number one on your keyboard. The next tool, which I'm going to get to by typing number two, is the range select tool. With the range select tool, you can select a range of events. For example, if I draw across all of those tracks and then hit my backspace button, it gets rid of all of those events. So I'm going to hit undo because I don't want to do that. But the next tool is the split tool. And the split tool you can use to chop one event into a bunch of individual events. But I'm going to hit the undo button a few times just to get back to one big segment. The next tool is the glue tool. And with the glue tool you can paste a whole bunch of events together to make one large segment out of a bunch of smaller ones. So with the glue tool selected, if I wanted to glue this event and this event together, I could just click on the very first event. And then if I continue to click, you'll notice that it has now become all one big event. And that means that with the object select tool, I can move that entire chunk of events all in one fell swoop. I'm going to hit undo a few times to get those back to individual segments. And then we can talk about the next tool, which is the erase tool. And the erase tool allows us to erase individual events from the event display. I'm going to hit undo again. The next tool is zoom. And the zoom tool you can use to draw a box around and it will zoom the display into that range. You're not actually selecting anything, you're just selecting what area of the event display you want to see. So it allows you to get a narrower view of the events in the event display. The next tool is the mute tool, and it's one of my favorites. Using the mute tool, you can mute individual events in the event display, but leave the audio in place, so that if you decide later on, oh, I, I muted that, but I do want to hear it, you don't have to try and fish it back out into the project, because it's already part of the project, you just aren't hearing it. That will become a little bit clearer when we start to talk about the pool, which is going to be in a different video. Now we've talked about the first tools up through seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which you can get to by typing numbers one through seven on your Macintosh keyboard. But then if we type eight, a curious thing will happen. It's going to jump over that 
time warp tool because the time warp tool is a very specialized tool so you're not going to be using that as much as some of these other common tools so that's why between seven and eight it just jumped over the time warp tool but it did take us to our next tool which is the draw tool and it looks like a little pencil with the draw tool you can draw in empty events onto the event display the line tool is also going to be skipped when we type 9, and that takes us to our play tool. With the play tool, whatever you click on is going to be played without any effects or other processing. So you're going to be hearing the raw event. I'm all grown up! <laughs> So the play tool allows you to audition an individual event in the event display. But there are two different modes. You'll notice that the play tool has a little triangle underneath the button. And that means that there are multiple modes within these tools. And we're going to talk about some of the individual modes a little bit later on. But the play tool is actually selectable as a play tool or a scrub tool. Let me show you the difference. The scrub tool allows you to drag across an event and hear it by itself. I'm on my own. And the slower and faster you drag across. I'm on my run, run my run, run, run. Allows you to listen to individual words if you're looking for a word to make an edit on. Grown up. Like up. up. So that you can make a precision edit right on that word with the split tool. So that's the play tool. And to get back to the default tool of object select, you just type one. So just to review, you can quickly get to a tool by using the keyboard shortcuts, which are buttons one through nine, which will get you to object select, range select, split, glue, erase, zoom, mute, and then when we get to eight, we skip over the time warp tool and go to the pencil tool, and then we skip over the line tool to get to the play or scrub tool. And now that we know a little bit more about the Cubase tools, we need to talk about snapping.